So like I'm obsessed with toilet paper. When the pandemic hit, I had literally 300 rolls before it hit. So everybody was coming to me. They all made fun of me, but I have so much toilet paper. Like that's my favorite thing to buy. So I got that blinged. I got Domino's Pizza is my favorite. So I got that old school logo blinged. And I had these stripper heels. And I had these from when I was an actual stripper. So it's like, you know, where I came from. <laughs> and then my LaCroix, Mango LaCroix is my favorite. And then the Febreze. This is my closet. It's my first like grown up closet. So I feel really cool and bougie with it. It costs like $70,000. It's like as expensive to build a closet as it is to have and furnish a closet. Okay, and then moving on, this is my wedding shoe display. Um, so I had originally gotten these pink ones to be my wedding shoes, but I was like, I don't think I can do heels at my wedding. So because my dress is really, really long, and I guess I'll just say it, I'm wearing a black dress at my wedding. I don't know, I wasn't gonna say it, but whatever. It's really long and princessy, so I got black Jimmy Choo sneakers to wear at my wedding. These are gonna be my wedding shoes. <laughs> and I don't wanna show anyone because everyone's gonna be like, that's so ugly, like your posture's gonna be, no one's gonna see them. And I'm over 200 pounds and I have bad knees. I was like, you know, I wanna be comfortable. So I'm walking down the aisle in these black Jimmy Choo's. Um, these were my frenemies sneakers, RIP frenemies. I got a matching pair for Ethan for our merch shoot that we were supposed to do and it never happened, but um, yeah. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Growing up, I had like one pair of shoes. So to me, it like represented success when like I needed to prove it to myself. I remember buying each shoe and feeling really proud of myself. So like they're pretty. So like, do I regret buying them? Yes, but do they make me happy and fulfill a purpose in me? Like, yeah, they make me happy to look at them. This was supposed to be my pride jacket. It was it was designed after Kamala Harris, not our vice president, I don't know. I think that's our vice president, Kamala. <laughs> I don't know how to say her name. She wore this at a pride event and I thought it was really iconic. We probably should have put more space between the stones because you can't wear it. It's stiff as a board, I could not get in there. And it's fucking heavy, you have to be on two fingers. <gasps> Oh, this was like the ugly Balenciaga shirt that everyone made fun of me for. It's a one piece, like it's connected. And it's like so ugly. <laughs> and it was like, I don't know, it's like a $2,000 shirt, but now people really want this shirt. But yeah, it's like a shirt on a shirt. I, I don't know, again, I think like designers are trolling people with money because I spent $2,000 for this ugly thing. Um, this is more of my favorite things. Just again, stuff that's like aesthetically pleasing for my eye. These are my two Birkins. It's my most used and my least favorite. This one was supposed to be caramel and I turned out brown or something. I like, that to me is the ugliest purse I own. This one I actually use a lot. That's my little black one. So actually that was a home run. These are my Dolce & Gabbana that I got in New York. These were literally like $8,000 glasses. They were so insane. Again, when I just had money to throw, I don't even know who that person was, but I don't know, I kind of like live for these. I guess I should wear these more. I finally can see them now, so. I probably would wear these on a daily basis now because I, I'm obsessed. This is like the one thing I don't regret buying in my closet. We've got the bling Crocs up there. That was very 2019 Trish, and I feel like a lot of people are doing it now, which I loved. And this was a lot of my only fans outfits that made me the most money, so I kind of just had them here to prosper like more money. I think that was my first million dollars, and I was so excited in like a, like a week or something. So I kept all this for like <laughs> for good luck. And then this is a Sad Boy 2005, my clothing line. This is a collaborative with Marsan Brands, and these should be out. October 1st. Over here, we have my blinged up boots. These are the ones I wear on tour. These were these pink ones that I wore, and I love them. All right, so this is sort of like the centerpiece. This is like, I would say these are all my favorite things. So the top is like my pink bling things. These are all my favorite things. Um, these Dolce & Gabbana's, and these are like the first expensive item I bought when I made money on YouTube. That was my first Birkin. So these are like my first, these are like baby's first things, my baby's first shoes. No, but that's my baby's first Birkin, but I never use it, cause it's kind of dirty. I think it's used cause it was like one of a kind. So I don't really like it, but it's my first, so I kept it. So this is the Paris Hilton Birkin that I saw her had. And again, I don't have style of my own. So I was like, oh, she has it, I want it. I like it, I've just never worn it. Cause what are you gonna wear that with? Yeah, Birkins are not cute unless they're bling. <laughs> Birkins are really so ugly actually, they're not cute. I don't know why people have them. <laughs> They're so ugly. This is my prized possession. I literally just got a Happy Meal at McDonald's and had my friend bring it up. My Rolex says, do I ever wear them? No. <laughs> so they just look pretty in my closet. This, <laughs> this birdcage, 
But when I was doing OnlyFans, I had so much money. I was just like buying things I didn't care. And then I saw the bill for that. It was like $20,000 for that bird cage. I never used it. I thought it was like maybe going to be $4,000, like a regular Chanel purse. $20,000 and I immediately regretted it. And I still regret it. Ugh. Thing. Sometimes I think they like just troll people with money. <laughs> They're like, we're gonna send you a $20,000 like birdcage that doesn't work. <laughs> I don't know. My style is definitely, it's definitely tacky. I am the definition of money does not buy a style or class. I don't use that much of anything in here. So again, it, I'm just telling people like it's kind of a waste of money. It doesn't make you happy, I'll tell you that. Like it definitely does not make you happy, but you know, I, I like to look at it. It's more memories and it's like accomplishing something that I always wanted as a kid. So it's more of that for me. But yeah, material stuff doesn't matter that much. <laughs> All right, now that you've seen my first closet, let's head on over to my second closet. So now we are in my second closet and this is kind of like my like overflow of stuff. For the past 10 years, I've always had a second bedroom as my closet. So there was like, no, there was no question it was gonna be another one. So a lot of this is just like my nice things. So I'll have to build a third closet for my actual clothes. So <laughs> this is inspired by like a Tiffany's box because <laughs> I really loved Tiffany's. And then I wanted it really sparkly and we didn't know how to make it sparkly enough. So we got like shards of glass and like sprayed it. And I always thought, closets with the islands were so fancy so I got one I don't really know the point of how like why people get these but I think they look cool so I'm excited they're like it's like white marble so this is my wall of like Louis Vuitton basically <laughs> Louis Vuitton is still my favorite designer brand I think if you're gonna buy a designer purse Louis Vuitton like never goes out of style and it's pretty affordable they're usually less than five thousand dollars so my favorite Louis Vuitton is the Jessica Simpson one and I, you can tell that I use this like all the time. This one I literally wore to the bone. I love it. I still love it. I think it's my favorite one. And yeah, this was like the one Jessica Simpson carried around on Newlyweds and it's probably my favorite. Yeah, like looking at it, it's probably my favorite purse. I love this purse. This was my first designer bag. I think this is a really a solid first one. They're classic. They'll never go out of style. And if you just want to have one designer bag, like honestly I thought I was gonna have one and that's it. This is the good one, so I, I love it. Honestly, purses go up in value usually. I mean, I buy vintage purses for way more than their original price. I don't know what designer brand this is, but I got it because I saw Kate Hudson wearing it in that movie, Bride Wars. And I thought it was really oversized, but it just, she was really skinny, so the bag looked really big on her, and then it wore it on me, and I was like, oh, that's just the size. bag was from one of my exes. He got it for me two days before we broke up, so <laughs> I can't, I love it though, and you can't find that pink anymore. But don't tell anyone. <laughs> this is my favorite thing. This is my Danger Days jacket. <laughs> Gerard Way, a replica. I love this, I've done this, I've worn this in so many photo shoots. I wear this every day, like when it's cool out. This is my favorite jacket, I love it. And then I had this jacket made. It's a replica of Michael Jackson's Beat It, but I cropped it. Um, I don't know, I just like wearing other people's styles. This is um, Adam Sandler. This is an actual shirt from when Adam Sandler was in The Longest Yard. I love The Longest Yard and I love Adam Sandler, so this is something I wear. Like anything that like has like a remnant of someone like that I love, I love to just be in their essence. So I wear this a lot. I actually wear this too. This is the jacket from Happy Gilmore when he's at the end and I love it so much. I ripped it off the framing. It was like on a frame and stuff and it's like signed by him. I ripped it off so I could wear it and I get a lot of use out of it. So I am so influenced by pop culture because I have no identity of my own. This is the true thing. I never had an identity growing up. I have an identity disorder. Um, so I think I don't know who I am. So I become other things and other people. Probably why I cosplay and dress up as other people because that's, who I learned from is movies and TV. I really don't know who I am as a person, so it's sad and exciting at the same time. <laughs> these are my prescription glasses. I am blind as a bat, so I do wear these for TV and driving. I'm so blind. I don't I don't wear contacts. I can't get anything in my eye. Like I came in eyelash curl, so I'm blind. I can't see people's faces until like you're up here, like really close to me. So it's kind of good to live that way, actually. I like living in a blurry world. I should get LASIK, but. I just like things that are unique. Like I don't even like the Muppets or necessarily that character. I don't even know what that character is. I just think it's really cute. Is it Gonzo? Yeah, That's his name? Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, why do they call him Gonzo? 
Um, yeah, I don't watch Muppets, but you know, they're cool. <laughs> the pink slippers I wear the most. I usually wear these on sets in my music video. And these slippers I usually wear when I'm in my closet because if my feet are dirty, I'll just like put these on because I don't want my carpets to like get out. I'm like that person. These are hard to find. I had KFC Crocs and Cars Crocs. And I wear these a lot. You can see they're dirty on the bottom. But I love these. These light up. They're lightning and clean. I got these off StockX for like $1,000. Like I'm sure the retail price is like 60 Oh, I didn't show these, but these are my favorite things. This is my favorite thing maybe in my whole world. And my Chemical Romance Gerard Way sneakers. <laughs> these are custom. It has three tiers for Sweet Revenge. This is a long good night. I might actually wear these for my wedding because the, I'm going to walk down to the aisle to Helena and these are Helena shoes. So maybe I'll wear these actually. I just totally, I for, totally forgot about them. But yeah, I like that it has his face painted on there and yeah, maybe I'll wear them. I like those and then I have another Broadway pair of sneakers. These are Dear Evan Hansen and the movie's coming out September 24th. I'm not sponsored, I just love them. And then this is from um, Ben Platt and Mike Faust who was the original Connor. All right, so those are my closet tours. I hope you enjoyed. It's a lot of sparkly. Just know money can't buy happiness and it can't buy style either. So just, you know, enjoy it, earn it, but it's not everything and spend it on what you love. <laughs> That's it, that's my closet. <laughs> those are my words of wisdom. I don't know, you didn't ask for that, so <laughs> bye. <even> okay, <laughs> I like gave a speech. <laughs> Because you know, I would look at this as a kid and be like so jealous, and it's like, it's not really, you know what I mean? I was gonna put that as a disclaimer, like, it's not that great.